Hello Autodesk people. My name is Jay Ayala of Autodesk. I'm an engineering technical specialist based out of the Pacific Northwest and the video you're about to see is AutoCAD MEP 2009 using hangers. In regards to hangers, we're going to need to do a couple of things and that starts with the setup. So you can either do this during the installation process or you can do this after it's installed. The example here is once you've already installed it. You can simply configure the content packs. You'll need to do this for to access the hanger tools. You have to install the UK content pack and you'll need to install at least one of the AutoCAD architecture profiles. And in or, the reason you're installing an AutoCAD architecture profile is because the hanger tool works off of what are called structural member styles. And by default, AutoCAD MEP doesn't install the structural member catalog. So by installing the AutoCAD architecture profile, you will receive the structural member tool catalog. We'll be working with a file that I recently created. It's simply two pipes that run parallel, and what we're going to do is we're going to support them using the hangers that we're about to create. In order to use the hanger tool, we'll have to change our profile, and we can do that very simply by activating the options dialog box and clicking on the profiles tab. Now remember that UK content pack that we added? Here's the AutoCAD MEP UK profile, which we'll set to current, and that will allow us to support all of the proper content for the hanger tool. So we just switched our profile, and it's kind of difficult to tell that anything actually happened. That is until we get to our tools palette. Now in our tools palette, we can see that we now have a hanger tool. Simply click on it to activate it. Okay, so this here is the add hangers dialog box. Now I want to insert along the run spaced at every six feet. Now I'll watch my command prompt here and it's asking me to select the pipe to place the first hanger and to give it a direction along that run. And I want it to run that direction. All right, so let's take a look at this a little closer because I think I see something odd. Notice how all of this is just a little too blocky. Well, let's fix that. So under the format pull down menu, we have a structural member catalog. Now I want you to notice that it's blank. It's blank because we are supporting the UK content tools right now. So we can fix that simply by switching back to the US Imperial profile. We'll set that to current and now we are supporting the proper content for the structural member catalog. Alright, let's go back to our structural members catalog now that it's supporting the proper content. And here we can see we have multiple uh, kinds of shapes and for the bottom of the pipe we want to support it with one of these C channels. Now we'll just pick a small one here. I'll double click to bring it into my, my current session. And uh, let's for the rod, let's pick like a small diameter pipe just to convey the design intent of what's actually going to happen and how that's going to be supported. Just double click. So now we need to take a look at the hanger style. Okay, because what we want to do is we want to define the channel and the rod. So here we have options to change the channel style and the rod, but notice that it only says standard right now. So there's something that we have to do to our structural member styles the ones that we just imported. So for the channel, we absolutely have to edit the description and it has to include the following, hanger and channel. And for the rod, it has to include hanger and rod. Now there's very specific reasons why this works this way, which I'll get into in a little while, but let's go ahead and use this for now. All right, back to our hanger style. Now let's define the channel and let's define the rod. I'll simply hit apply and OK. Now in the graphics screen I can see that it's taken effect except it's not perfect so I want to fix it. Okay so I'm going to use AutoCAD MAP's select similar tool to select all these hangers. Now in the properties dialog box I can change the channel offset left from 3 to 27 inches. Now I know that'll work I did the math earlier but check that out. Doesn't that look cool? Let's take a look at this from a little bit better of an angle. Let's see if we can orbit this around to a slightly more of a top view. All right, now I can see that that works just fine. 
I mentioned earlier that we were going to get into the specifics about the descriptions for the channels in the rod. So here I'll go to help menu and I'll type rod. Now the first option here is rod styles. If I double click on it, I get this help menu, uh, this help window. And towards the bottom, I can see that in red it says important. I wonder what that means. Important for the channel style. In the name or the description, you have to have hanger and channel. That's why I typed that in there. Important for the rod style. You absolutely have to have in the name or description hanger and rod. That's how the hanger tool works by viewing those two descriptors. I expect this tool to be really popular in UK, but not so much in the US. Four things to remember about hangers. Available for all Auto Academy P 2009 users in the UK content pack. Um, you'll have to install one of the AutoCAD architecture profiles to get the structural member catalog. You'll want to use the UK profile to access the hanger tool to begin with, and you'll want to add hanger and channel and hanger and rod to the descriptions of your structural member styles. On behalf of Autodesk, my name is Jay Ayala. And the video you just saw is AutoCAD MEP 2009 using hangers.